Hey girls and gays. We're gonna have a cute little sit down Q&A video. First of all, I just wanna say sorry about the quality. I am using my webcam on my computer to film this because my camera is at a battery and I need my phone for the questions. So I asked you questions on my Instagram story and y'all asked me the questions, so I'm gonna answer them. I'm doing an updated Q&A because my last Q&A, I don't know who that girl is. I am a completely different person, so it's only fair for y'all to know the new me, the real me. I went through a lot of changes, so. Liz Loves Money said, what's your skincare routine? So, as you can see from my face, it's not working. I, I do have a skincare routine, so in the morning and at night, I wash my face with um, face wash, and then it, it comes with like this like acne like um, cream stuff that you put all over your face, so I put that on too. And then after that, I usually put on a moisturizer because my face will be feeling a bit dry, and I use the Glossier, um, this one, priming moisturizer. So... Other than whaling, what was your favorite subject in school? The Siobhan um, Russian asked that. And I would have to say that my favorite was probably, I liked English. She also asked, are you nervous to move across the country? Yes, because I rely heavily on the relationship I have with my friends and now I'm not gonna see them. <laughs> Anyways, VVMNG asked, favorite song at the moment? Hmm, what is my favorite song at the moment? And let me look through my Spotify. Oh, my favorite song at the moment is definitely Cherry Wine by Hozier. Hozier, how do you say his name? I don't know, but he's a king. But I'm really vibing with Cherry Wine right now. I'm gonna say also Golden Hour by Casey Musgraves. Rotten.avocado with three O's said favorite youtuber question mark my favorite youtuber is drew phillips he will forever be my favorite drew phillips and enya and like josh and their whole squad they got there christian josiah you know all them so rachel huggins 26 said what's your mbti personality type and i believe i took this um thing in psychology class but let me just double check for you okay so i just took the quiz really fast it says i'm campaigner 53% extroverted, 47% introverted. So it's like kind of half and half, which like makes sense for me. Campaigner personality is a true free spirit. They are often, uh, they're often the life of the party, but unlike types in the explorer role group, campaigners are less interested in the sheer excitement and pleasure of the moment than they are in enjoying the social and emotional connections they make with others. Charming, independent, energetic, and compassionate, the 7% of the population that they comprise can certainly be felt in any crowd. What's your favorite Lana album and why? My favorite Lana album is Born to Die. It had to be said. It had to be said. And why? Because it's the first one and it's iconic and, well, actually, maybe it's ultraviolence. I don't know, I can't choose. Well, Lizzie Pratt said, what are your plans for after high school? So, in case y'all didn't know, cause y'all don't follow me on Instagram, which you should. I graduated high school, I made it. But yeah, so I'm moving to Los Angeles, California. My college is in Los Angeles. I will be studying commercial dance because I'm a dancer. That's what I pour all my time, energy, heart, soul into every single day of the week. And I wanna continue the path of dance and maybe become a professional, do it as a job. So that's what I'm doing out there. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be extremely hard. It's gonna be extremely tiring, but I am looking forward to it. I'm up for the challenge, cause you know, all I wanna do really, I'm going in there with one goal, and it's just to become a better dancer. That's all I want. Rose Lights with a Z asked, fave Sarah Paulson American Horror Story character. My fave um, American Horror Story character that Sarah Paulson has played is hands down Cordelia Good. I would protect Cordelia Good with my entire life. That woman is my daughter. I will protect her. 
I will use everything in my being to protect her. Haley Michelle Williams said, how have you grown this year? So I have grown this year. I am happier. I'm so much happier than what I, than what I was. Oh my God. It's like night and day. Just I just learned a lot about myself. And about who I am and I kind of grew into myself and be and like became like a better person just I learned a lot of self-confidence I'll keep it short but Crepicorns asked if you were to meet one of your idols who would it be and why I'd probably meet Lady Gaga because she's been my number one since I was seven years old she's been with me my whole life just have to give that woman a hug I'd have to give her a hug and say thank you for raising me I just can't put into words how much that woman means to me. Then I also would probably want to meet Sean Johnson because I don't really talk about it a lot, but I'm like completely obsessed with Olympic gymnastics. Like I just lay in my bed and for hours I just watch videos of the Olympics. Um, women's artistic gymnastics. I just, I'm completely obsessed. Like I look up to these girls, these girls, these women like so much. My number one favorite Olympic gymnast is Sean Johnson. I'm, I literally love her so much. I take a lot of, I take a lot of, um, inspiration from her. So I just like to talk to her. She's so cool. Like, um, nationals, when I was performing my solo, I had a bit of a breakdown before I went on stage because I just was, like, so tired and, like, just so done. And it was, like, a lot for me. It was, like, I was very stressed out. And I remember watching an interview or watching just like a video of Sean Johnson and saying how like right before she won um the Olympic gold when she was on beam like before she went to um perform her routine she like was so out of it like she was so tired like she was done like the Olympic process is obviously so much work so like this was like what she like it was the end and it was like she was the last one to go so she just was like so done and she kept falling off the beam and everything when she was practicing and it just she was just ta she tapped out and so she said that she went out on beam just being like all right like I don't care like look let's get this over with like I just I'm so tired and I'm done and that's exactly how I felt and I remembered her saying that and her like gaining this just like strength in her to just get it over with and just get it done and so that's what I tried to do. I thought that about how she did that. And I was like, all right, like, I just got to be Sean Johnson. I just got to get out there. I have to just show them who I am and like, it's going to be over with. And I got it. And so I just went in with that mindset after I had like a breakdown and I went out on stage and I won first place. And that is like so prevalent in my mind. And so I don't know, I just look up to Sean Johnson like so much, like, I just love her. Anna Kester asked, favorite music era besides current? Um, definitely the early 2000s. Are you kidding me? Early 2000s music is where it is at. Kesha, Christina Perry, Usher, like all of that. Early 2000s music doesn't get better than this. Evacuate the dance floor. Get back to me. I'm guessing, this is 4.n.y.a. I'm guessing um, it's supposed to be like Anya. What are you watching on Netflix currently? Right now I'm re-watching Friends. I've seen it like a million times already, but I'm re-watching it again because I love Friends. Anya again asked, what's the most significant thing that changed about you in the past year? And I kind of touched on that earlier, but just like um, my happiness changed. I'm way happier. And, like, I know who I am. I feel like, like, I still, like, obviously, like, I'm about to start a new chapter of my life in college and I will learn more about myself. But I feel like right now I know who I am. LXURA.MG asked, what are your goals for the future? So this is kind of, like, lofty claims. <laughs> but it's just like stuff that I know I want to do. So I'm moving out to LA. I would love to get um, a lot of training there with dance. I'd like to grow a lot, maybe even get like a, a gig, a job or something. Do 100% want to model, not runway or anything because I'm not tall enough or stuff, but I just would love to model for a few companies, like not like crazy, like I don't want to be on like the cover of Vogue. Like I literally just like want to work for like Brandy Melville or um, like Milk Makeup, Glossier, like f my some of my favorite products. Like I love would to, I would love to just like model for them. One of my dreams is definitely modeling. So I'd like to do that. 
and I eventually would love to move to London for a little bit because I have done programs for dance out in London and I love the dance scene in London. I absolutely love it. I would like to live there for a little bit. Maybe I'll go to New York City if it takes me, if, you know, life takes me there, but I'm not really like looking to go to New York. But I know at some point I want to live in Hawaii as well. Like when my, when my like career, like whatever that I build for myself kind of like starts to taper out. I like I start growing older. I would love to live in Hawaii. Blech. I don't know if I want to come back to Massachusetts. I don't know if I'd come back here to live. I probably would. Maybe at one point. He also asked fave and least fave. American Horror Story season. My favorite season is Coven. And my least favorite freak show, Roanoke. Didn't really like that one. In popular opinion, I really loved Cult. Like, that's probably like my second favorite season. Or third, because I really like Asylum. I don't know. Do you believe in fate slash destiny? I feel like, I feel like I do. Good question. Someone asked, how is it to have graduated? Um... It doesn't, I don't, it's weird because I don't feel different literally at all. It's weird to think about how the way my school ran, we had advisory every single day after like last period. So I just like will remember like me holding my backpack, like walking down the hall to my advisor, advisory room. And it's weird to think about how I will never do that again. It's so foreign to me because like my entire, like, all of like my entire life has been school you know every single year another school year in like the same type of way like I've changed high schools I've changed from like obviously elementary school to middle school which is like still like which are different schools but you know college is just so much different so it's gonna be weird like it's weird thinking about how I'm not ever gonna like walk through a high school hallway again. I'll definitely go back to visit, so obviously I'll be walking through high school hallways, but not as a student. It's like so, it, it feels so weird because I don't feel different. Like once I graduated, I was like, all right, like y'all heading back to school on Monday. What's your sexuality, if you're comfortable sharing it, lots of love. Um, so I'm gonna talk about it briefly because I want to create a separate video about this. Um, I think Ava Gridley and I are gonna collab um, y'all know that I have said in the last Q&A, and, like, if you know me at all, <laughs> you know that I am in the LGBT community. That has not changed. I am in the LGBT community, but, um, I don't feel as if I have to fit into a box, whether it's a lesbian box or a bisexual box or whatever other box you want to think of I don't feel as if I belong in this box so because a lot of people are confused because people a lot of people thought that I was a lesbian I thought I was a lesbian for like a really long time but um I'm not I'm not a lesbian um I don't put myself in this lesbian box because a lot of people were confused because I don't know if you follow me on Instagram maybe you know I don't know but um, I currently have a boyfriend and a lot of people were confused. Understandably so, because I thought for a really long time that I was a lesbian, but I'm not. I'm not one, obviously, because I have a boyfriend. But does me having a boyfriend mean that I'm not gay? No, I am gay. I'm confident enough to say that I am, I am like, I am queer because I do like girls. Do I have a boyfriend? Yes, so that means I like boys. But, am I bisexual? I don't feel as if that bisexual box fits me. I don't feel as if that bisexual label, that bisexual label doesn't sit well on my chest. And so I understand if people just like want, like it doesn't make sense to them. Like some people, they, need to have a label for it to make sense you know so if you want to call me bisexual go right ahead i personally do not identify as that because that does not feel right with me do you if you need like to call me a label so it makes sense to you go ahead but i don't feel as if i am bisexual 
do I like both girls and guys? Yes. But I don't feel like I have to have this label attached to me. I think that I should be able to date whoever I want to date, like whoever I like, without having to, like, put myself in this box. Like, I can, I have a boyfriend now, will I have a girlfriend in the future? We'll see. I feel like I should be able, like, whoever comes along, if I have feelings for them, I'm gonna date them. And I don't feel like I want to put myself in this box, you know? Um, I kind of explained this in the last Q&A because, like, Sarah Paulson, like, says how she, like, is just her. And, like, that's it. If she's dating a girl or a boy, like, it doesn't matter. She's her. And so, like, I kind of feel that way as well. It's confusing. It's confusing to people because, you know, you always think that, like, you should have, like, a label. Like, I am straight. I am gay. I am bisexual. I am this. I am that. Like, whatever you identify as or whatever you feel like you want to label yourself as. I don't want to label myself as bisexual. I don't want to label myself as straight because I'm not. I don't want to label myself as a lesbian because I'm not. I don't want to label myself at all. I just want to be me and I don't feel like I have, I should have to put something on that. And I know that's like a conversation that a lot of people don't want to have, but I'm going to have it because I don't want to be in a box, this like sexuality box. I believe that sexuality can be fluid. I spoke a lot on that. Maybe a little too much, but I will go more into depth with a collab with Ava if we so choose to do that. I think we're gonna end the Q&A. Uh, who did that? Oh my god. That's so weird. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry about the quality or whatever, but yeah. Um, see you in my next video.